guys. I've not posted a video in about a week. Apologize for that. And I'm sorry if you guys cannot really see me well. The sun's slowly starting to go down. It's actually about 5 o'clock right now. I'm probably going to go do some fishing today. But I want to show you guys this real quick. By far the biggest mess I've ever had. For sure. I mean, look at this. This is crazy. I got rods everywhere. Soft plastics everywhere. Drone. Soft plastic bags. The only reason, guys, I can explain is that I'm actually, I took everything out of these soft plastic bags right there. You see those blue bags? Yeah, those. I have about four of them. And I took everything out just because I want to reorganize it and kind of look at everything that I have. And then I have these rods everywhere, so you guys can see. Just crazy. But I think I just need to stop all this and just forget about everything that's here and just maybe grab uh, one pack of something and just go fishing, go fish some ponds. I mean, I haven't done anything with you guys for a very, very long time, which I'm, I apologize about. But I've, I've actually been working on a video that my friend actually went up and did in Georgia. Um, he It's actually a dirt bike riding video, so if, for my viewers that don't really like fishing, it's going to be dirt bike riding. If I can just go over to him, get the SD card, and then start uploading, not uploading, but editing, excuse me, but editing, then we'll be in good shape. But I want to show you guys this too. I mean, that's clearly not safe. Having that on the floor for my dog, but pick that up real quick. But other than that, I'll get back. Oh, one more thing. I got the uh, Big Red fix completely, so now I've been actually been working on that lately. What? Yeah, my brother. I'm sorry. He's in the other room over there. My brother fixed the Big Red. Jeez, Jack. He fixed the Big Red, but it works now good. We got the oil filter in it, and we fixed the starter, so it runs beautifully now. Here in a few days, I'm going to do a video on the Big Red setup and kind of what I have in there just for fishing gear and stuff. I really don't have anything in there right now other than what I'm about to grab. I'm just going to grab one rod and what else? Maybe like one pack of soft plastic and like a hook, and then that'll be it. And I'll get back to you guys when I'm at the next pond. I mean, when I'm at the first pond, sorry. Peace. Right, guys, I came into a little problem here. I realized that I didn't plug in my GoPro last time I used it. Again, another mistake of mine. Apologize, first of all. And I'm still gonna make this video, it's just not gonna be with the GoPro. Meaning that I'm gonna have to use this camera the whole time. In one of my uh, recent videos from uh, tightening down my camera to the tripod too hard, stupid mistake that I did in the past and I'm not very proud of. I'm not going to put my camera on a tripod, so I'm just going to have to rest it up against the Big Red, so sorry about the bad camera angles, just in advanced. And I'm just going to go to one of the ponds just around my neighborhood that's drivable with the Big Red, and that's about it. Other than that, let me show you guys what I'm going to be throwing today. I'm going to be throwing these, just let me turn on the light here. Okay, there we go, it didn't really help much, but these are just flukes. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys realize, but I, I never ever float, throw flukes. These are actually the only two packs that I have in this house. I just, I've never really been confident with them, so might as well make a video on it. And that might not make so much sense to you guys, but I'm just going to be throwing it on a 3 odd hook. So, Gamagatsu. Zoom. Oh, uh, it's on the floor. Zoom Super Flukes, and this is about it. So, I'll get back to you guys when I'm at the next spot. Thanks for watching.
Alrighty guys, we are here at the first pond of choice. You guys have definitely seen me fish here before. I'm gonna fish here today just because I don't have my GoPro. I don't want to go to anywhere anywhere else. Just because I'm not gonna be able to pull the big red up in one of my other spots. But I'm gonna get the camera all set up and I'm gonna show you guys one more time what I'm gonna be using. Like I said, it's flukes. And I'm definitely gonna start out with, uh, that's actually white ice, so probably the albino. I'll get back to you guys when I'm all rigged up. Okay guys, I'm back here fishing the albino colored flukes. I don't ever fish flukes guys, so we'll see what happens. Oh my gosh, holy, oh my gosh. That was a freaking toad, holy gosh. Oh man. Come on, please bite it again. I'll do anything. He's got it. Yes. Got him. Oh my gosh, I got him. Oh, it's a big one. No, 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 no. Don't come off. Don't come off. Don't come off. He's got me in the weeds. Oh, it's a nice fish. Come out of there. Yes! Oh yeah! Nice fish! Look at that fish. Not as big as I thought, maybe about maybe three pounds. I thought it was a lot bigger because he was running with it. But this is not the fish that I had before. But overall guys, he slammed the uh, fluke. So, I like flukes now. I'm going to let this guy go and we're going to see if we can get another one. They fight so hard in here. I thought it was a lot bigger. And he had me in a bunch of out in a bunch of um, weeds and stuff. I'll show you guys my setup here, real quick. Oh, I'm bringing it just like this, like I told you guys in the very beginning, a three odd hook. But I have the hook a little bit exposed, just to increase my chances of catching a fish. Other than that. Albino fluke about albino fluke. I really don't know how long how long I've been here, but what I do know is that I have I had uh, about a total of three fish on, and if I could have landed them, I'd have only been here for like maybe five minutes, I'm assuming, uh, not much longer than that. But I'm going to try to catch one more on this, then we'll go to the next spot. Oh my gosh, this might be a, oh, he spit it. 
Oh, just so you guys know, that was not a parrot moment, but that was a giant fish. Nice fish. That was funny. Look at this. Another maybe two pounder, but another nice fish here. So, what just happened there is I dropped my rod thinking that I lost a fish, and then as the bait I'm assuming was sinking since I'm using weightless, this fish came and hammered it. And when I uh, picked it back up the rod, I realized I still had a fish on. So, I'm going to let this guy go, and then I'm going to take maybe four to five more casts, and then we'll go to the next spot. Okay, guys, I'm going to set down my rod just for a second. And I'm going to come back over and explain to you guys essentially on how I'm doing it. So how I'm uh, using this fluke is I'm casting it out, letting it sink to the bottom. It's a weightless uh, rig that I have set up, but you can rig them with weights. But this pond, as you guys can see, there's a lot of algae and vegetation and stuff. So I figured uh, weightless presentation would be the best for this pond. But the next one I might switch up. I'm not for sure yet. And I'm casting out, letting it sink, then popping it off the bottom and that's how I'm catching these fish. Well guys there's a bunch of fish here as you guys can see I caught I had at least four or five um, miss it and swim with it but I just couldn't land some of them. I ended up catching two here though on the fluke right here this color zoom super fluke albino there you go you saw it I'm gonna head over to the next spot and then I'm pretty much gonna wrap my video up over there I hope you guys enjoyed this fishing segment of this pond let's get going to the next spot Welcome back guys, as you guys can see I'm at this new beautiful lake that I've fished before in some of my videos, but I'm going to be fishing the same bank, I'm just going to be fishing on this, I'm not, not the same bank, I meant the same bait, I'm sorry, that was silly, but I'm going to be fishing the same color, same bait I was fishing in last pond. Let's see if we can catch a couple bass and then we got to go and help uh, Jasper that owns the property. Okay guys, we're at a much shallower spot now. Sorry about the crazy camera angle, it's just, I'm kind of on a hill right there. Holy gosh. Let me show you guys this real quick. Look at this catfish right here. That is a nice catfish right there. Biggin. But there's actually, I've heard that there's a 30 pounder in here, at least it's been caught before. But I'm going to set the camera, you know, kind of weird spot, there's kind of like a log cabin right here. They don't mind if I go up in here, so let's see if I can make it up here without falling. Oh gosh. Holy gosh. Oh my gosh, that scared the heck out of me. I almost just got bit, torn to pieces. Oh. My gosh, that is a giant, giant snake right there. I don't know if you guys heard that. Oh my gosh, I'm about to just leave the area. Yep, I'm gone. I'm, I'm, I'm so tired. I, I hate snakes so much. Oh, let's get down here without getting bit. You guys definitely cannot see that, but that thing was at least a foot long. Oh gosh. Oh. 
You guys are probably gonna call me a little baby, but I hate snakes. I'm gonna move over and pull the big red up over here, and I'm gonna fish over here. I just I cannot stand snakes. I'll get back to you guys in a moment. Oh my gosh, he popped off again. Gosh. You know what? Real quick, I'm gonna go go over here real quick and grab a different rod. Um, this is just a rod that I keep up here at the lake and it's got something that'll actually catch fish up here. So I'm gonna let you guys go right I'm getting back with you guys at home. I just got home about maybe an hour ago from fishing the two ponds that I did fish. One of them was more of a lake, the last one that I fished. I didn't end up having much luck over there today. Well, I did have luck, just nothing really worth showing on camera. I mean, they were all dinks. And I'm sure some of you guys get really tired of me catching small fish on camera. I know a lot of you guys do that go to school with me. You guys always give me a bunch of crap about catching small fish on camera, but I do the best that I can. And the first pond was pretty good, but I'm overall pretty new to fishing the flukes. I'm sure a lot of you guys fish them out there. And I decided to start fishing them today. And I fished them a couple times before in some different lakes, but just not really one of my prime uh, confident baits, confidence baits, more, more mostly just stick baits and other types of trick worms and stuff. But anyway, please leave a comment, share, like, tell your friends, tell everybody about my videos. I'd appreciate it. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please